Okay, so we'll look at if Darkness had a song, it's from the latest Metallica album, uh, 72 Seasons. And the standard tuning for this. Okay, so here we're gonna have one guitar playing the rhythm. Which is basically this, uh, repeated over and over. And it's gonna be played 16 times, as you can see. Okay, and then the second guitar, if you want to do this, uh, play this melody. Which you're basically going to play like four times. Uh, and just start playing this melody, the first note of that melody, in the second bar, the 10th fret in D. You start playing this uh, in the fourth bar, fourth beat of this, okay, so I have to count those bars, uh, so when the first guitar kicks in, after the drum intro, that would be one bar, and then you count another, you know, three bars, and in that fourth bar, at the final beat, you hit that note here. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is uh, kind of slide into the 10th fret on D, then you're gonna have this kind of quick bend and release on the 9th fret okay and then you hit the 7th fret on A and you vibrate it and then in the next uh, couple of notes you're gonna again slide into 10th fret on D and then slide down to 9 okay like this and then you play open D then you repeat that uh, 4 times basically and at the 4th time So basically play the whole thing, but instead of going back to 10th fret on uh, D, you're gonna have to open D and 2nd fret on D, and then you're gonna hold that note for 4 bars. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much that. And then the 2nd line you have the kind of uh, iconic riff in that song, I guess. Uh, But basically, yeah, okay. Uh, hammer on from 12 to 13 on A, hit 12 on D, then 13 E, then 12 on E, but vibrated quite uh, aggressively. Oh my god. Okay, and then you repeat the first three notes of that riff. Okay, and then you have four reverse gallops on that. Uh, right. So after this line, after the final uh, melody, so to speak, you're gonna go here, and you're gonna play that groove another five times. So the first two times, the drum speed will be kind of uh, the same as before. Uh, sorry, they'll be kind of quiet, right? And then the next three times, they will pick up the beat again, so to speak. And um, so after those five bars, you're gonna have another two times for this reverse gallop, okay? So altogether, it's gonna be five times on this, and then one more bar like this, okay? In the second bar. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so we have to keep track of all this. Uh, all right, and then in the following. Uh, uh, bars in that first line. You're gonna play that uh, old riff four times now, okay? And then you're gonna have the verse riff in the second line finally. So you're gonna have. You're gonna have that riff four times. Alright, uh, so yeah, four times on that. And then you're gonna do uh, slide three. Uh, Pre-chorus riff in the first line. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think they play permitted power chords here. Uh, so basically, yeah, this thing uh, played uh, uh, three times, and then you play another time, fourth time, but the final bars be, uh, will be a bit different. Uh, 
that final bar will be just open chord, so to speak. And then it's a good line, back to the old riff, two times on this. Alright, and uh, yeah, that's the pre-chorus, basically. And then we're gonna have a chorus riff here on side 4. Slides here, right? In the on the A and D strings, not not like that, but slide. All right. Uh, all right. So after this first chorus, you're gonna go back to slide two, back to the sign, right? Which is like halfway in the first line on the slide, uh, and you're gonna repeat all the on the all the riffs, all the way up to here, including the chorus. And after the second chorus, I go to the break riff in the second line, it's kind of uh, like this. This, right? So that's the first uh, uh, riff. And then the second riff is the same, but it's gonna end on, on this instead of doing. Right. So basically, what I'm doing here is. Uh, quick pull-offs uh, uh, from A and D strings so you're basically hitting in the first beat you're gonna hit second fret, uh, fret on A and D and pull off to open like this and then do like a quick muting on the strings and then go up to the third fret do the same thing and then up to the fifth fret do the same thing and then go back to third fret same thing and then back to the second fret same thing Okay, and then the second bar, we have this, so, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that, and then, uh, you know, the second, sorry, the third and fourth bar is the same thing, but a bit different ending, we're gonna have this inverted power chord here on the final bit, uh, yeah, and, uh, so that's the first riff and then the second riff or the second repeat is the same but different ending. Like this, alright? So yes, yeah, so that's this for this slide. And then on to the next slide, uh, so we're gonna have uh, the solo bucky riff. So the first line here is the same as on the previous slide, uh, some break riff. So I'm not gonna play that again. But and then the second line is a bit different. Yeah, basically that riff, you're gonna play it four times. So uh, yeah, you can see what's going on. So basically you start with this pull off as before, on the 2nd fret, uh, on A and G strings, pull off the open string, kind of quick muting there and then hit the power chord on the 1st fret, 2nd bar, same idea, but you hit the power chord on the 3rd fret, and you're gonna have... So here we're gonna do a... Yeah, so here in the final two bars for that riff, we're gonna do this pull off, second fret to open A and D, right? And then after that, you're gonna hit permuted E once, and then you're gonna hit uh, permuted E three times in doublet, so to speak, like one, two, three, and then hit it once, one more time. So it's like, like this, right? One, so then three times on doublets, da -da 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 -da, right? And then once, one more time. And in the fourth bar, you're gonna kind of, same idea, but you're gonna have four times of those doublets. But you open with one, and 
we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then one on the single of the stroke. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, um, oh. Like that, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> Otherwise, shift the tab if you don't uh, follow my uh, in my uh, instructions here, the verbal instructions. And then in the next, uh, in the fifth bar in the line, you're gonna have the same idea here. And you're gonna have one stroke and then four doublets and then one stroke after that and you're gonna repeat that three times and then in the final bar same idea but without the very final note so you end with the four doublets there like this right <sighs> okay <laughs> you will get it i mean just to practice that you will get it and then here on the next side we have the pre-chorus riff, it's the same as before, so I'm not gonna play that again. Uh, but here yes, you know you played uh, uh, that's four times, four times the fourth time with a different ending as you know. Second line we have the iconic riff, so to speak, played twice. Then here on the next side we started with the chorus riff. Uh, just as before you played the chorus in the first line. In the second line, you're gonna do like a different ending for that chorus. It's gonna be like like this. Okay, so uh, pan muted it uh, almost all the way. Uh, e power chord first in reverse gallop four times. And you have five strokes on the F power chord, and then you have this inverted C power chord. And I know that James has to play those inverted chords uh, with upstrokes uh, many times. I don't know if he's now doing it here, but I tend to do that now also. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's that. And then here on the next side, we're gonna have another chorus uh, riff in the first line. Uh, so this first part, you, you played kind of the first half of the chorus three times. And then you kind of end it uh, with the other part, so to speak. So it's like. Right? So that part you played three times. Right? And after that third time, you have this uh, ending part. Right? And the second line you probably know how to play. Here on the final side, we're gonna continue with this riff. Okay, uh, stop there. So basically, you're gonna have the that thing. So basically, you play the old uh, melody up to the 13th fret. You don't play the 12th fret as before. You're just gonna slide down from the 13th fret okay, instead of playing the 12th fret and then after that you have this uh, that thing so what we're doing here we're gonna have kind of like before one stroke on the E palm muted followed by four doublets and then one stroke again and then we're gonna have one stroke on E and two doublets. Okay? So and then we have and right after that you're back to the melody riff. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, I know it's kind of confusing at first, maybe, but it's not too difficult just to you know, memorize this. Uh, so you play those two bars seven times. Then in the third bar, um, Starting on the first bar, you're gonna kind of end the song. So basically, you start with this melody, and after that, you play this. You know that riff with one stroke and four doublets, followed by one stroke, and you're gonna do this like three times, okay? 
without the melody, it has to repeat this. This, repeat this three times. And then you play the. No, the shorter version of this riff. Actually, it's like half of that riff. Uh, once. Alright, so it's one stroke and two doublets. And then after that, you're gonna have the final bar. That. Alright. So I hope you uh, get the point. So I, I wrote a little note above the third bar. Uh, so uh, when that part kicks in, you know, when you, when you have this longer. Longer occurrence of that riff, uh, the drums get a little quieter first, and that's kind of your cue. That's this is like the final time. That this is the time where you have to do this longer. Uh, uh, you have to play this riff a bit longer. Uh, all right, well, you have to end the song. <laughs> all right, so that's the thing. Uh, that's uh, Metallica's "If Darkness Had a Son." So have fun with that, guys, and see you later.